So about two months ago, we were contacted by the uh, Mass State Police out of Bristol County. Um, they had uh, made an arrest, and further information from that arrest led to uh, narcotics trafficking in Providence. They contacted us. We began an investigation with the Mass State Police, uh, District Attorney Tom Quinlan's office, Bristol County Sheriff's, and that investigation, the target was a man named Armando Amado Diverge, age 37. It. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. I can send it over. Sh she'll give it to you after. Okay. So this investigation started as a narcotic investigation, and it also led into an investigation of firearms. Uh, we uh, obtained obtained information uh, that Mr. Verge was buying uh, guns legally, um, at least for some of the ones he had in his possession. So as the investigation went on, um, it seemed that there might be a chance that he was trafficking these guns. Um, we did have enough to obtain a search warrant for his house, arrest warrant for him, and he was stopped Wednesday at the Walgreens on Cassett Avenue. Um, a uh, subsequent investigation at his uh, residence, 91 Clarence Street, Turned out, um, I believe there was three handguns, two shotguns, two rifles, and over 5,000 rounds of ammunition. Uh, but what we did find there that was alarming that was one of the shotguns and a couple of the handguns were contained in a big uh, white plastic barrel, a shipping barrel. And within that barrel was also thousands and thousands of rounds. Uh, the rounds were put in um, coffee cans. They were put in new coffee cans that they had opened, dumped the coffee out, put the rounds in, and put the coffee back over the rounds, placed in the container over um, like, a, um, like a popcorn kernel, what they would call like chicken feed shipment. The shotgun within the, uh, within the bin was broken down. Um, so we were able to uh, take that down. We found some other weapons there, some more rounds. Um, after we completed our investigation, it was determined that these, this barrel was headed to the Dominican Republic. Uh, so our intelligence unit who uh, led this case along with our narcotics unit um, and our neighboring partners did a, a great job and um, took, you know, when I say thousands of rounds, you know, off the street in Providence and probably in the Dominican also. Uh, Mr. Diverge was charged with 24 felony counts. And we'll list those for you after you'll have them. He was released on bail. Uh, also arrested was an Alba Oranto de Espinal. Uh, she, I, we believe that she is either an ex-girlfriend or ex-wife and may have children in common with, with Mr. Diverge. She was also uh, charged with nine felony counts. She was also released on bail. So we'd like to, uh, again, thank the, the Mass State Police Bristol County Sheriff's Office, and of course the uh, District Attorney Tom Quinlan's office for uh, playing such a big part in this and coming to us and, and offering this information so we could then take it and uh, with their help and run with it. And at the end, when we find the guns, we called in ATF, which we have worked with numerous times. Uh, DJ White, who's the, the head agent here in, uh, in Providence, and they are now going to look into that, and we'll see if these ch uh, charges will go federal.